I did not have a rich father. Not from, uh, you know, well-educated. I said I tried three times for university. All failed. For the last time, I went to the teacher's college, which was considered the third or fourth class of my city. But I think that is the best university I've ever had. Better than Harvard and Wharton. I applied for Harvard for 10 times. All failed. They don't even want to see me. You know, terrible. And I, I think that is a normal life. It was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught in the university. My pay was $10 a month. It was not easy, but I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. That was the tough experience. And I never thought I was smart. Nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said, well, this guy think differently, think crazily, you know, they think about something never worked. Nobody agreed with it. As I said, I believe it because I saw the computer in 1994 when I went to the USA. I think this thing could be big. I never thought it would be that big like today. Honestly, people say you're smart, you're, you have a big vision. I'm lucky to know a lot of famous people. Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg. I would like to share with you the difference between those people and other people. They are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of the others. And I think, where is the opportunity? The opportunity li always lies in the place where people complain. Some people sit there complain. You think, mm, if I can solve that complaint, that's the opportunity. Because when everybody agrees, why this opportunity should be yours? Because a lot of people don't agree with it. And you think this is good. Think carefully and find a group of people working together. And making sure the people working with you together believe the dreams. Whether investors believe in this or not, whether your friends believe it or not, whether your parents believe it or not, that's not important. You believe it. Your team believe it. And work day and night on this. That's how the things happen. Everybody is the same. Because we are stuck from the same line. The best, the best assets you have is that you are young. Don't complain. Let the other people complain. Those people complain, those people who still. Think about how you can make things different. Use your own brain to think. Is that an opportunity inside? Is there anything I can do that make the difference? Think about this. And then when you think about this, start to do it. I saw a lot of people, young people, have fantastic ideas every evening. But in the morning, they go to the office same again. Make the move. Make the action. To everybody, to any person, tomorrow is new. So you have to work very hard, right? Either work for the others or work for yourself. And I choose the way, work my, for myself. But working for myself, that means working for the society. If you really want to work for yourself, think about the others. Making sure you help others. Because only when the other, ha other people are successful, when the other people are happy, you will be successful, you will be happy.